Good morning, everyone. We got to get all our ducks in a row being uh, out of experience. We, we, we don't know what we're doing anymore. It's been too long. Uh, actually, uh, we just are so glad to be back together in worship today, whether you're joining us uh, via the online service next week or whether you're here with us in person. Uh, I personally uh, want to thank you for your prayers for myself and our family over the past uh, few weeks. Uh, we are very grateful. We came through COVID uh, relatively unscathed. Um, uh, we, three out of the five of us ended up getting it, uh, but uh, two of us avoided it altogether, and none of us had super severe symptoms. The only things that seem to be hanging on are with me. And uh, two of those things are, um, well, one is that I cannot smell anything at all <laughs> anymore. Um, so apparently that'll come back after a while, hopefully. Uh, but right now I can't smell a good cup of coffee or anything. So yeah, that's a little weird. Um, and then uh, secondly, uh, and you know, with greater consequence, is that my, my brain is foggy. I'm having trouble focusing on stuff and remembering stuff. So, for example, a couple of things. One was that I prepared an online service for this week for folks at home and did all the work for it, did the recording and uploading, and then totally forgot about sending Amy the link until 10.30 at night last night. And so poor people didn't get the link, um, which is totally my fault. Uh, I apologize for that. Um, I also had updated all our prayer requests for congregational prayer, recorded an up-to-date congregational prayer for the online service, and then completely forgot to ask Katie to put it in the bulletin for <laughs> our church family today. <sighs> well, anyways, please uh, forgive me for that um, and uh, be gentle and gracious with me. Hopefully my brain will work better next week. Other than that, there are a couple of announcements that I need to give to you. Uh, one is just to make you aware that we are having a little bit of trouble with the water, uh, apparently, this, this week. So the water is not drinkable here at the church. You can use it for other things, such as washing your hands and, and so on. But the water is not drinkable today, so please don't drink the water. Also, um, we got clarification regarding singing from the health unit, and because it is part of a worship service and the government doesn't specifically say that we may not, uh, you may sing. Um, yay! So, <laughs> yeah, which is wonderful. Uh, again, I, I know I've been warned not to apologize too much, but I am sorry, not in the sense that it's necessarily my fault, but I am sad about the fact that we maybe missed out on singing for uh, far too long, and uh, I am regretful about that. So, but please, uh, you know, try not to be operatic in your singing still, um, <clears throat> not because we don't like opera, but because, you know, anyways, um, also, <laughs> you guys are going to be operatic? Okay, good. <laughs> Good. All right. <laughs> I look forward to that. Um, <clears throat> um, also, we are, the government is saying that we're not supposed to get together for groups of five or, or we're not supposed to get together unless that's groups of five or less for like ministries and church programs. So all of our church programs and ministries are suspended for the time being. Um, and uh, yeah. Now, there are two other things. One is that Pete and Jenny could not be here today, uh, and so uh, they are requesting that somebody would volunteer to do the sanitizing of the pews after uh, the service, the high-touch surfaces. Uh, you can ask me for details about that after the service, uh, how to do that, if you would like to volunteer for that. Just a couple people, maybe one or two people to do that. And then also, just in general, your council, your church council and your executive, they have been working so, so hard 
over the last two years to try and do their utmost to honor God and to serve us as a congregation and to do what is loving and right as best as they possibly can discern. So please continue in your graciousness to our leaders as they continue to try their hardest to figure out exactly what to do and when. And if you can, pa pass them a word of encouragement and, uh, and gratitude when you think of it, okay? All right, those are, I believe, all the announcements that I need to make at this time. So uh, please, would you stand and receive God's greeting? Welcome, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord and Savior, the risen King and the God who has created us and sustains us. Welcome, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm.